All right, you guys, I am back, and these two pieces should look extremely familiar because it is your front and back pattern that I showed you how to make in the previous video. So we are going to put these bad boys to the test, and we are going to make our very first top. Now, you need your patterns, you need some pins, all right, you need measuring tape, and you need scissors. Another thing you're going to need is your fabric. What I suggest for any beginner is a good stretch fabric. Now, if your fabric only stretches one way like mine does, that's fine. Um, mine doesn't stretch this way. It only stretches this way. So let me tell you how you're going to lay it. You want your top to stretch this way. Okay? You want it to stretch horizontally not vertically okay because if you're putting your top on you need it to widen you don't need it to lengthen all right so that that should make sense another thing is if you have a print because once we get started with this you need to make sure your right sides are on the inside so the inside should be the pretty side Right now, we're going to work with the outside, and I have the fabric folded. So on that side of the fabric, there is a fold. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the front pattern, all right? Keep in mind, this is the center front, so it's literally going, this is the throat, the middle of the boobs, and then uh, the middle of the belly button. So this is your center front. You don't want to seam going down the front, so what you're going to do is you're going to put your front pattern on the fold. Alright, so I'm going to just move my fabric up, and I'm going to take my center front, so I'm just going to have to flip it over, and I'm going to put it here. Now, you're not going to cut it out identical because you need what's called seam allowance. So if you notice, I didn't put it all the way to the bottom of the fabric, but I left some extra space here. It's good to start out with, you know, anywhere from one and a half to two and a half yards, especially, you know, if you, you know, might mess up or something of that nature. It's okay because you're just now starting out. So you just want to put some pins in here to hold it in place. Keep in mind, this bottom line is your waist. So it's going to be above the belly button. So if you know for a fact that you want it longer than that, you need to see how much longer you want it and add those additional inches. For me, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add at least one inch seam allowance going all the way around the pattern, okay? So... Take your measuring tape, take a marker or a fabric pen, and just make small dots. I'm only doing this with um, this type of marker, you guys, for demonstration and for video purposes. You don't want to use a marker like this that's going to bleed through, okay? You want to use a fabric marker. You can get you a fabric pen at the um, fabric store for very reasonable price of around two dollars I think so I'm just adding one inch allowance all the way around my pattern okay the oops. So I'm just making little dots you can do slanted lines Whatever you feel comfortable doing. Okay. Almost finished. All right. So you see I have little dots going all the way around the pattern okay so 
what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut that out. Alright, so I gave myself the extra allowance. Now I'm going to cut right on the slanted lines or the dots, you know, whatever you did. So if you notice, it's bigger than your original pattern. The reason why we did one inch, you guys, is because we have to hem this thing all the way around. Not only do we have to hem, but we have to sew the front to the back. And if we're going to sew the front to the back, we don't want it to be too small. So you're giving yourself a little bit of extra allowance. And you want to be careful. Go as slow as you want. You don't have to be as fast as I am. So, front pattern should look like this. Okay? I one inch allowance all the way around. Then I'm just going to sit this to the side and I'm going to do the same thing with the back. Again, you want it on fold. You want it to stretch horizontally. So depending on how wide your pattern is, you could just do this right here. Take this one piece. Okay, that's going to be too, too small. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just bring some more fabric down. Make sure it's laying flat. What I'm using here, you guys, is like a stretch knit. That was my fabric of choice. Because, again, two-way stretch fabrics is really good. So, if, you're stretch, if your fabric stretches both ways, that's perfect. If it doesn't, that's fine too, as long as it stretches one way. Alright, so now I have my back pattern. Same thing. This is my center back. So this is aligned with my spine. Put that on the fold. So we're going to just flip it over, you guys. I can move it down a little bit. Pin it in place. Take your fabric marker, one inch, Shoulders. Then we got the neckline. Okay. So same process. Gonna cut this bad boy out with my allowance. Okay, so be careful. I'm just going to throw my fabric to the side. So now I now have a front and a back piece. Alright? So, this is what we're going to do next. Your pins are really going to come in handy. So, 
my front, I'm going to unpin. Always have your pattern in a safe place. Keep in mind, when I open it up, this is, if you're using a print, this is what your good side is going to look like. Your print, your vibrant colors. So the, the inside was folded in. Okay, you couldn't see it. This is already your back piece. Looks crazy, right? That fast, you have almost half of a top. Okay, back pattern. I'm gonna unfold it. Lay it right on top of there. Line up your shoulders. They should be completely even if you corrected your pattern. And what we're going to do is go ahead and pin it. So keep in mind, again, the right size, if you're using a print, you guys, is going to be sandwiched on the inside. You design your garments right side out. I mean, wrong side out. Your right sides are in. And then you're going to flip it right side out. That comes later. So you have your shoulders pinned. Keep in mind, these are your arms. So now these right here are your side seams. And you're going to pin this way. I like putting my pins in like this where my balls are facing uh, inside the garment because you can actually sew right over these if you need to. Okay. Same thing for this side. Shoulders should align perfectly. In your sewing machine, whatever colors you're using, if you're using a solid color, your thread needs to be the exact same color or very similar. You don't want to, see mine is a, a pastel yellow. I'm not going to use a purple thread or a black thread, something really, really dominant, you guys. You want it to look very neat and clean. So you want your threads to match. Same with your serger. You want your serger to be the same color. Now you'll notice your back is a little bit long, longer. You can even that up. So let me show you. I have this completely pinned. And you see that the back is a tad bit longer. So we're just going to cut off the axis. Sometimes um, it kind of evens up on its own. The back is supposed to be a little bit longer. Um, it just, That didn't fall right. So we just cut the excess off. So this is what you should look like right now. So what we're about to do, we're about to sew the side seams and the shoulders. Shoulders on both sides, side seams on both sides. So we're about to sew those together. Okay, so I know what I said about your threads needs to be the same. If you notice, my thread is black. Only for teaching purposes, alright? So I'm about to go in here, 
side seams. You can, it doesn't matter what you do first. Keep in mind you have about an inch allowance. So you need to go over an inch. If you don't know how much that is, keep your measuring tape handy and kind of measure as you go. Put your measuring tape up. Make sure it's about an inch. And you will be just fine. Make sure you back stitch. Whenever you start a stitch, you want to back stitch. I'm just going to straight stitch all the way down the side. Back stitch when you start in and a stitch, okay? Pins out. Now I'm going to do my shoulder. Beginning and end. Keep in mind we added one inch allowance all the way around. So when you sew your shoulders together, try to stay within that one inch. Okay, so you see my shoulder side seam is in there. You don't have to go fast, you guys. I'm a little bit more skilled. I can go a little bit faster. Make sure you have good, crisp lines. Okay? Again, I know that you're a beginner. So if they're a little bit off, no pressure. You have to keep practicing. One inch, back stitch, another thing I failed to mention with the stretchy fabrics, you may have to pull just a little bit as you sew. I got jammed in here. Pull just a little bit as you sew. You can also choose to use a zigzag stitch. Zigzag stitches are good for stretch fabrics. It keeps your uh, seams from popping. But again, this should be um, kind of loose fitting top. It's all about the material. All right, sorry, I had to re-thread it. My machine. I'm just kind of tugging at it a little bit as I go. Like you see my hand back here tugging and then right here. So I'm tugging just a little bit. Alright. It is all together. So the final step for this is your hem. Okay, now if you have a serger, you need to go ahead and serge off your access fabric. Alright, keep in mind, we did an inch, 
So because we did an inch, you're surging off about an inch. So you're surging off this axis. So the sergers make the inside of your garment extremely clean and crisp. Like look at that little design in there. There we go. Alright. Serge your shoulders as well as your sides. Alright, another thing you're going to do with your serger, okay, I have it serge my shoulders as well as my sides. Skip this step if you don't have the serger. But another thing, you're going to go all the way around the arms. You're going to go all the way around the bottom um, as well as all the way around the neck with your serger. Alright, so I'm about to do that and then I'll show you how to hem. Alright you guys, so we are almost done. It's looking more and more like a top. So next thing I'm going to show you is how to properly hem, alright? So as you can see, I have it searched all the way around. Okay, so all you have to do, keep in mind, we added one inch seam allowance to the bottom. Okay, so you want to, I'm going to take one layer. I'm going to fold it down a half an inch and then fold it again another half an inch and pin it. So I'm going to do that again even though it automatically tries to do it for you. Half an inch, fold, and fold it again a half an inch. And you're folding it all towards the inside. You're going to do that all the way around the bottom. You're going to do that around the sleeve as well as around the neck. One more time. Fold and measure it half an inch. Fold half an inch. Pin. Alright. And then what you're going to do is when it's time for you to stitch, you're going to stitch right along the bottom fold of the hem. And you're going to do that all the way around, all the way around the neck, and all the way around the sleeves. So I'm about to get that done, and I will show you my finished product. Alright you guys, so if you took your time and went slow, you should have a good, clean hem. Good, clean inside as well as sleeves and your bottom should be good and crisp. Your inside should look like this. See my serge and my stitch and alright so I am going to post pics. Make sure you post pics of your new top.